And so we are evaluating limits, and we are going to be evaluating a limit by rationalizing. And so here's our example. The square root of x plus 4 minus 2 over x, we are trying to find the limit as x goes to 0. And when you substitute a 0 in for x right away, you get the square root of 4 minus 2, which is 0 over 0. And we just cannot have that. 0 over 0, that's bad. OK, but what we can do is rationalize the numerator. And we can do that by multiplying by the conjugate. If we multiply the top by the conjugate, we have to multiply the bottom by the conjugate. What we'll end up with is a new function that is basically an equivalent form, but hopefully has a limit that we can evaluate when x is equal to 0. OK, so let's do this. We know when we multiply by the conjugate, we end up with this expression in the numerator. The denominator remains the same. No good way to simplify it, and we don't want to do it. x plus 4 minus 4, well, that's just x x times the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. What we notice, numerator and denominator, is that we can cancel the top and bottom. x divided by x is 1. Now, what I see is that I can actually substitute a 0 in for x, and this is no longer going to be of the form 0 over 0. And so the limit as x goes to 0 of this expression ends up being 1 quarter thanks to the use of the conjugate.